Hello, welcome back to these videos. We're learning this every day. Of course, again, this is Teacher Kent coming at you. Uh, I have an English school in Japan, but of course, I'm originally from America, even though I have a Canadian shirt on today, maybe because it's April 1st, so April Fool's Day. Uh, but yes, I am originally from America, and I moved to Japan 20 years ago. So, these are TPR gestures, a total physical response gestures. Move your body with these words. So please do these with your friends and family. Again, we're doing Super Tots 2A, which is uh, how uh, two years old, three years old, and four years old kids should do these with their family. Okay, so you can see today's topic, well, you'll see in a minute, today's topics are games and numbers and colors. Colors goes with the numbers. And I'll explain as we go along each game. These are different famous games in America. So of course, with your other vocabulary, you should play some of these games with your vocabulary. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below if so we know you're enjoying these videos. Okay, let's see to get uh, with these. Uh, don't forget to share them with your friends and family too. Play tag, play tag. This is like it, you are it. So touch, you touch and we touch, you're it. So Kent, Mr. Kent, you're it now. Okay, let's play tag to touch each other. I have a game on my game channel where we actually play tag. So please watch that with a red hammer. Red plastic hammer, I should say. But play tag. Okay, that's easy to know. Okay, and don't forget hopscotch, hopscotch, hopscotch. One, 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 two, one, two, one, one, one. Yeah, hopscotch, yes. And the verb is hop. He, the robot is hopping, hopping. So hopscotch, of course, if you want to stop and uh, make these at home, here's how we do them. Usually one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How we play hopscotch is usually, how I played it as a kid, it was usually from one, I would start, not from ten. So you start from one, you'll go, you'll one leg. One, one, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. You'll one leg or two legs depending on how many cards you have. You can see this stone here, or rock. We usually ro use a rock. But you, if you make these at home, you can use anything you want. Cover, you put on top of that card, so that card she can't land on. That's why now she has only one foot on six. She didn't land on seven. So then if that was there, going from my way, you'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight, sorry, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you'd skip seven. It teaches kids to count out of order and to miss the word. Even though they're missing seven, they can still numb. So a lot of kids memorize in order, one, two, three, four, five. But if four is missing, can they do one, three, five? So teaching kids to practice that. Again, this is play hopscotch. So hop, hop, hop. And this is hopping, 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 hopping. So I do the same gesture for both. Play hide and seek. Again, you probably know this game worldwide. Play hide and seek, of course. As you can see, shh, be quiet. So my gesture for play hide and seek is I do this. Play hide and seek. Play hide and seek. So I do like that, covering my eyes. And then, of course, hide. Somebody should hide. Hide, hide. I'm going to hide. Hide, hide. Can you see me? Oh, no, you can see my back. Oh, oh, now I'm off camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't see me, can you? Okay, so something to remember when we do this in America. Play hide and seek. Of course, you count to 30. 30, usually. Uh, usually, a teacher will say, or your parent will say, count to 30, count to 60, count to 50. But usually, 30 is typical. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, da, 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 30. So when you get to 30, what you should say is, ready or not, here I come. So ready or not, here I come. So even if you're not ready, I'm coming. I mentioned that because in Japan where I live, uh, hide and seek is a little bit different where actually when you finish counting, you'll say, are you ready? And then the, uh, the other students or the, the kids will say, no, I'm not ready yet, wait a minute. Okay, so count again. What did it? Are you ready? No, I'm not ready yet. It's weird to me because as you can see from this gesture here, shh, you should be quiet. Every time you say no, I'm not ready, the uh, the seeker person can hear where you're coming from. So of course in America, how I played it is everybody should be quiet. So ready or not, here I come. Even if you're not ready, I'm coming now. So this game has a time limit and also. It has to be, you have to be quiet. So, of course, you don't want to give away your hint of where you are. So, again, that's play hide and seek, hide. Okay, play cards. Play cards, yes. Uh, this is my gesture for play cards. Play cards. So, uh, I have these from, I bought from the dollar shop, these big, big cards. You can see they're as big as my hand. Usually, my gesture for play cards, I do like that. So, usually, I like to do this for the students, so you can do it with your kids or your family. So, you bend them like this with your finger. They're harder, much harder with the big cards. But let's see if I can do it. I'll try to make a bridge. So play cards, I'll say to the kids. And then boom, 
There we go. Oh, that's a good bridge. There we go. Yeah, good bridge. Play cards. Yeah, so like that. Remember to do this with your friends and family. Play cards. Play cards. Oh, I need to cover the bridge. So you hold the bridge at the top and then you play cards. Then this naturally leads into the next game. The next game is called uh, with playing cards. So again, play cards. And your gesture is this one, play cards. And which leads into the next game, which is called 52 card pickup. You take the cards like same like you're making a bridge, you act like you're making a bridge with the kids, and you do something like this, like, oh, play cards. Oh no! <laughs> now they're all over my floor, even all over me. And then what I like to say is, I'll say black, and they'll hunt for the black cards, or red, and they'll hunt for the red cards, or I might say heart, and they'll hunt for the heart cards. Okay, let me move some of these out of my way. So here we go. Yeah, so, but that's called 52 card pickup. We play it a lot in America. So again, play cards. Nine. This is a pink nine, but nine. When it's a color, I like to practice with nine. I'll find something pink. Uh, like here, my book here is pink. Uh, but us see if we can see on camera. But here, oh, sorry, here. This is pink, this one. So pink, I'll say nine. Let's touch it nine times. So pink here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So pink. I did a couple extra there, but pink. Can you touch something pink? Nine. Find something pink in your house. Okay, purple, purple. Can you find something purple? I found, wow. Can you see? America is purple. So I got to touch it ten times. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten. Ten purple. Ten purple. Oh, and here. Do you remember another video? I use these. Purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Or if I want to do pink again, pink nine times. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Okay, and two more games. Uh, we have soccer and we have basketball. So basketball, we throw the ball. Can you do it? Throw the ball. Do the gesture. Throw the ball. And here, kick the ball. Kick the ball. So I go back to my chair. Kick the ball. Kick the ball. Kick the ball. Okay, so let's go through these gestures again so you remember to practice. Play tag. So touch, touch. Can you touch your mom and dad? Play tag. Play hopscotch. Play hopscotch. Yes. Hop, hop, hop. Play hide and seek. Sorry, I should do both eyes. Play hide and seek. Play hide and seek. Of course, hide, hide, hide. Oh no, she can't see me. You can't see me. Play cards. Yes, play cards. Okay. Nine. Nine pink. Ten purple. So touch something purple. Ten times. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. And kick, kick the ball. Okay. And like I said at the beginning, we would practice uh, some pronunciation at the end of these videos usually. So F. Today we're doing F. So F. So if you have your textbook at home, but even if you don't, you can practice along with me. Can you touch the screen? F. So we got to find F things. F. So I'll say the words. Can you find them? F a uh, fire truck. F a uh, fire truck. Yeah, it's here. F a uh, flowers. F a uh, flowers. F a uh, fireman. F a uh, fireman. F a uh, fish. F a uh, fish. F a uh, frog. F a uh, frog. Can you find F a uh, frog? And F a uh, fire. F a uh, fire. And F uh, foxes. I think these are foxes. F uh, foxes. Yes. And usually I add some words like F uh, mountain. Is it okay? No. F a uh, tree. No. F ah uh, F a uh, fence. Oh yes. Okay. So remember to circle. F a uh, bush. No. F a uh, hose. No. 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 F a uh, road. No. So you'll circle the F, and then that naturally leads to the activity in the back of the book. Sorry. Let me see here. F. F, F, uh, oh yes, here we go. So remember, we're going to do these in class, but don't forget, you can practice them at home if you're not in my class. F, uh, and you have to follow along and find the things that belong to F. So if you're not in my class, around the world somewhere, pause this video, and can you touch the screen, which ones have F in them? Can you find from here to here? We have to go find the F words. Is dinosaur an F word, or is flower an F word? Okay, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Uh, don't forget, the more you practice, the better you get in any art thing. Language is, of course, an art, so practice more. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.